being out for a while. Your team came out, did some good things tonight. I'm sure some things you're not happy with down the stretch, but most importantly, you got a win. What'd you like about tonight's effort? Uh, well, you know, I <laughs> I like Keith Clanton. He was pretty good tonight. I uh, wish we could have got him some more touches, but uh, you know that it, it showed. Don't want to take away anything from Bethune Cookman, but uh, you know we're trying to figure out rotations. Uh, you know, I worried Calvin coming back. You know, he'd be trying too hard uh, to fit in and try to do too much, and uh, so it was an adjustment for him. But he's going to be fine. And uh, you know, it was uh, it's a situation. You know, we had some opportunities. We had 19 assist in the game, which was I was happy with. Too many turnovers, and, uh, you know, it's a tough team matchup-wise for us. You know, they went small out there a few times, and I was still trying to play man, didn't want to go zone and give up threes, and I was afraid we'd get complacent. So, uh, But there were some pluses. Uh, when you have a long layoff, making no excuses, you sometimes don't value every possession like you should in a game situation. You talked about Keith and wanting to get him more touches. He's 14 of 15. With the matchup, I would imagine it was important to get him involved early, but it looked also as if he got the ball in good spaces as well tonight. Yeah, he did, you know, and I thought the space he was good, and we've been shooting the ball extremely well from the three-point line, so that made them guard us out there, and they were playing a matchup zone, which we really hadn't seen a matchup zone, and, you know, it's hard for guys sometimes, especially young guys, to understand how to screen and move in, against a matchup zone, and we were running man plays against it, and, and we needed to just look for the mismatches and get the ball to Keith, and uh, we did a good job with that at times, but there were other times we got caught standing around. You had a 15-point lead. They cut it to 10. You got it up to 20. They got back into it. What are some of the things that you will remind your basketball team to take out of this to get better? Well, we start playing one-on-one. -on -one. That's what I worried about. I called the timeout. You know, remember how we got here. You guys were getting stops and getting out in transition and, and, and sharing the ball. And uh, uh, we started doing one-on-one -on -one too much. It was almost like the game's over and let me go get mine now. And anytime that started happening, we forced bad shots, which gave easy baskets on the other end. Calvin, you know, wanted to play well tonight, and he struggled a little bit. Uh, did you talk to him after the game? And, and I know you probably said, hey, there's a lot of big basketball games, and I commented with Taylor. He'll probably laugh about this game maybe five or ten games from now, but uh, was he just in a hurry tonight to do a lot of stuff? He never got rhythm. Uh, he was in between, should I shoot or should I pass? Should I run the team or should I let it roll? And, you know, so we, we've been playing him a lot more at the point here right now, so that's forcing him to think a little bit. And he's trying to fit back in with these guys who have been playing a lot. And, and I think any time you're doing that, you're worried that those guys are thinking maybe you're not doing the things they, that you need to, to to be a part of the team. So uh, that psyche goes on. And, you know, we'll watch film. We'll take the edits from it. I'll sit down with him tomorrow. I'll let him take this in here tonight. And, uh, you know, he's a competitor. He'll come back and go to work tomorrow and be ready to go. There's a lot of possessions in every game that he can look back on. A big one tonight, Donnie. Your team's struggling out there. They cut it down to eight. And Matt Williams in the corner had a big three for you. And, you know, again, Matt wasn't getting shots like he had the last basketball game. That was a big shot for a freshman right there. No, it was. You know, that's why I put him in a game, you know. We needed somebody to, to make a shot and somebody to, you know, to move in that zone and, and loosen it up a little bit. And, uh, you know, one thing about him is he, he really only had one good look about the whole night. So uh, he, he got an open shot there and made a big one. It is one game, and I know there were some things you did not uh, like tonight, but I, 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 certainly you know this, and I think Knight fans got a chance to see. You've got more players now. You don't have to have guys play 38, 39 minutes, and as this group gets comfortable, you have some nice options with some depth right now. No, we do, and I think matchups will be better when we're playing you know, teams in our league you know, with size and athleticism. And uh, I think that uh, and I'll get in a better rotation. I'm still trying to fill guys out and figure out how to play them here right now, and that's going to be an adjustment here. And uh, you know, good news is we'll get three more games here in the next uh, six days here, so we'll have a chance uh, to really find out about our basketball team. Quick turnaround on a plane tomorrow for a game against Old Dominion. They're struggling, but any time on the road, it's a challenge for your basketball yeah, team. Yeah, it's going to be a tough game. They're very talented, and uh, they're young. Uh, they're going through a lot of new guys, and uh, uh, any time you go into their place, they've won a bunch of basketball games there, and Blaine Taylor's a terrific coach, and uh, you know he's looking to rally those guys, so we're going to have to go in and uh, have an incredible focus uh, and play much better than what we played tonight to uh, have a chance to get a road win. Thanks, Donnie. Appreciate it coming Thanks, Mark. Out. Donnie Jones, UCF head coach. Keith Clanton's going to step in and join us right now, our State Farm player of the game. As a career high for Keith with 30 points, along with uh, 13 rebounds in the basketball game, and UCF improves to 5-2. Uh, and two. Uh, You hit those half-point, uh, half-court shots and uh, shoot around. I said I'd, I'd, I'd mention if you got to 20. I brought it up at 18, <laughs> then you scored to make it 20. So I did hold up my end of the bargain. You held up your end of the bargain as well. <laughs> <Thank> okay. <you. laughs> uh, 30 points tonight, 14 to 15. Hard to do much better. I don't know how many shots you took beyond five feet tonight. It was by design to get the ball down low. Did you feel good early in the basketball game? Yeah, I felt like my teammates got me a lot of easy shots that I practice every day. So I feel like with that, uh, I just had to come up and make the strong move.
Uh, it was an interesting game, Keith. You guys come out and get off to a 7 nothing start, then they knock down some shots at a 15-point lead. They cut it to 10, up to 20, then back down. What happened a little bit sloppy there in the end of the basketball game? I feel like we were playing uh, – we thought the game was over, sort of. We, we can't do that. We have to stay focused because when we play better teams, that we, we can't have that little slippage uh, from practice to game. So I feel like what, uh, we're going to go back and practice and work on it, and we'll be fine. What was it like to have now a full group of guys out there? I mean, it has to be nice because it gives you guys a lot of looks on the floor right now. I feel it's real good. I know Kelvin was probably a little nervous when coming out to the game. Like he's a real good player you see. He's in the starting lineup already. I feel like with everybody coming back, with Matt being able to shoot it, everybody coming to Daquan coming off the bench, I think we'll be ready, uh, really good. I tell him, Coach Jones, they cut it down to eight, and uh, Matt hit that big three in the corner because that's a big shot for a guy that wasn't getting many looks tonight. You're a senior, and yet uh, you're relying on the play of some freshmen, but it looks as if – you got a lot of confidence in the young guys that are out there, don't you? Yeah, I have a lot of confidence. Uh, Matt, Daquan, Steph, Dylan. I feel like they're in the gym just as much as us. I think Matt's probably in the gym more than anybody on our team. So I feel like if I pass it to them, I know it's good. You obviously continue to work on your basketball game. What do you feel is the biggest difference for what you bring from last year to this year that you worked on that you feel you're better at? I feel like I'm more athletic and playing harder. That's why the biggest thing Coach wanted me to work on is to play harder. So I feel like I just got in better shape, and I just playing with more enthusiasm, knowing it's my last time coming uh Last time here at UCF this year, so I just feel like I just want to play hard every game with 110%. It seems also that you're not letting the previous play bother you if it doesn't go your way, which I think for young players, that's something that, 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 that happens. Is that accurate? That, that, that if something goes wrong, you're leaving that play there, not letting it linger? Yeah, coach, coach tells me that every day. In practice, they play a little harder. We don't call fouls at all for me. And so I just have to learn just to play through it because every game, when we go on the road, it might be a different than when we're playing at home. So he just tells me to play through everything. Taking a look at some of your highlights and finishing uh, there, uh, do you ask for the basketball? When you get a game like tonight where things are going down low, do you have to ask or do you know your teammates are feeding you down low tonight? Uh, my teammates were just always always looking out for me. We have a lot of plays that sets that we run for me, but today we didn't really many, run many sets for me. They were just passing it down low, and I was trying to make it a strong play. Uh, first true road game, we leave the state to go to Old Dominion. Uh, again, with a young basketball team, you know how hard it is to win on the road. What's your message to those guys that it is you know, a hard place to play regardless of the record? What's important now as you go up to Old Dominion? We know when we play on the road, everybody's going to give you your best shot. They're home, they're in front of their fans, their family. So we just know we're going to have to come play hard. We, we're going to have a hard practice tomorrow, Coach told us, and we'll be ready to go. I want to know, did you see the uh, Fear the Beard Clinton fat head? <laughs> yeah, huh? I saw it. I love it. <laughs> the beard looks better than the fat head, by the way. They got it in <laughs> thicker there, you know. Oh, yeah, I would get a haircut, trim it up, and make it look nice. <laughs> uh, story of the socks. Oh, I bought these socks from Rock'em Sock'em. Uh, uh -huh. You can find it online, and I just I like them. They, it was a Twitter buzz. Everybody was said, look at Keith's socks tonight. So it's a little fashion statement out there tonight. Yeah, it's like my little RG3 thing. <laughs> it's nice. It's nice. Oh, so we're going to see it again. Oh, yeah, yeah. You'll see a different one probably every home game. Maybe. All right. Career high 30. Congratulations. Thank you.